Hey gang, let's take a look at some Batman comics. Here's Detective 458 and 467, featuring dead or dying Batman cosplayers. And look at these dudes, you really had to be in shape to be convincing in the old Batman suit. Unlike today, when you can just cinch yourself into a body armor girdle, here's Batman 266. The main focus seems to be this old lady going, Beware Batman, you are entering a trap from which there is no escape. Meanwhile, the captions say, Here comes the Catwoman. More beautiful and dangerous than ever. Just ignore that old crone and focus on Catwoman's teeny cleavage and a split skirt and a hot little boots. Here's Detective 461. DC Comics salutes the bicentennial with your nightmares. Here's Detective 468. The Calculator has defeated the Justice League. The lightweight members of the Justice League, but the Justice League nonetheless. But look at Black Canary in the background in that sexy pose. Notice that she didn't just flop like Green Arrow or Atom. If this were a modern cover, she'd be right in the foreground with that sexy pose. Heck, she'd be the variant cover in that sexy pose. And then they'd pull the cover after Fruitcake screamed sexism on Twitter. Here's Batman 303. Introducing Batman's most bizarre foe. His name his name is the Dodo Man, and he must steal anything having to do with dodos. Which is bizarre, but of course they didn't put that information on the cover because it's so very stupid. Here's Batman 295. Back off, Batman, or this magic show becomes a tragic show. Ooh, Batman's gonna give him an extra hard-ass weapon for that rhyme. Here's Detective 478. Clayface is back, and this girl was his first victim. You, Batman, will be the next. Wait, is Batman having a conversation with the captions? Here's Detective 466. Back again after 15 years, and 15 times as deadly. The Signalman. Are you telling me they had 15 years to redesign that crappy costume and they didn't? Here's Detective 452. It's Batman versus the hooded hardcore nerd. Everyone knows Batman will never use a gun for any reason. Here's a nice Neil Adams cover on Brave and the Bold 95. We dare you to guess the identity of Batman's shocking co-star. And hey, I also dare you to guess down in the comments section. <laughs> it's Plastic Man. Here's Batman 311. And honestly, even though I have all these Batman comics, I'm not that familiar with the Batman story. Most of what I know comes straight from the DC DVD movies, like the killing joke. So I presume that Batman and Batgirl were on this rooftop because they were porking. And hey, I just won three Batman comics from Mr. Miracle Comics. He gave me Detective 324. Man, look at the size of that comics code seal. We get it. It's approved. And I got this Detective 402. It's Detective Comics presents Batman and Robin, but Robin's not in this scene because he'd get swamp water in his little booties. And I got this Detective 323. The twins from his costume have separated and become huge fiery missiles. At least he didn't give us crabs. And as an extra bonus in keeping with the theme, Mr. Miracle Comics also included this sealed pack of Superman 3 cards. It's not the best movie in the world, but compared to Superman 4, Superman 3 is Godfather 2. He also included these stickers. So thank you to Mr. Miracle Comics. I'll have your link in the description and at the end of the video. And hey, if you want to see the first prize I won from Mr. Miracle Comics, just click on my 100th video on screen now. Or hit the subscribe button. Or follow me on Instagram. Oh god, that voice hurts my head and my soul.